All right, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the one thing people might be curious about with my dad, they're probably wondering, did he see Melina? I know Melina. Melina, for me, is not something that I do in my personal life. Like, my dad never saw me dressed as Melina because I never did that for my personal life. And not that there'd be anything wrong with that. I mean, I think there's people that are very close to their parents and they, they dress up and they're trans and they really believe they're trans and they are trans. So for me, I'm not trans. So, I mean, for me, I was always dressed up as a guy with my dad. I was not concerned about it, uh, Melina, because I never would, would dress up as Melina. But people might be curious. They might be like, did he see Melina perform? Did he see Melina on, on, the, on the YouTube channel? My dad was the type of person that wouldn't have cared anyway. I'm pretty sure he would. He never mentioned it. Um, and I'm, but he never mentioned my channel. He never mentioned me being famous. If I brought it up, he would always change the subject. But it wasn't because he was upset that Molina was a performer. He would, he would not be like that. He's the type of person that's very easygoing about everything. He was just the kind of person that was very much wrapped up in his performing because he was still a performer. It's just like Madonna, you know? I'm not sure how Madonna is with her kids. I'm thinking Madonna's not really, you know, the type of person that would dismiss her kids' talents or whatever. So you probably talk about them. But, you know, as a parent... So that you're disconnected with your kids' talents because their talents are totally different than what you like and as a parent, they might be embarrassed by you. You know, you don't really connect to it, really. So, I mean, he never really he never really talked about my, my channel. So I don't know if he saw Molina. And to me, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Like, I don't think he would have cared. Um, he was so nice to me. He was always so nice to me. So I'm pretty sure he didn't, even if he did see Molina, I don't think he would have judged me for it. Not that he would have, because I mean, I was always Marco when I saw him, but, but you know, it, it's, um, I think people would be wondering, you know, did they, did, did my dad see Melina? And I mean, Melina is not, you know, for me, Melina is not really a concern. You know, I don't really, I, I'm not, I'm not Melina any other time other than on YouTube. So for me to say that Melina is my personality or my persona, I mean, it might seem like I really like it, and I do, for entertaining. When it's recording, I love it because I like to see Melina. And I think Melina's gorgeous. She looks like a really beautiful model. So I love beautiful models. I love watching that all day. Um, I could watch female models all day. So, I mean, for me, it's more to do with uh, my persona as a performer rather than as myself of liking being dressed up as a girl or having thoughts about wanting to be a girl. I'm not like that. Like, for me, I love being Marco. For me, Marco is... A jock. I love being a jock. I love being good looking. I love being a good looking guy as Marco. I love being all there is to do with being good looking because I was really, I was really, you know, supportive of my dad and I really, he was very attractive growing up and dealing with, with being, being who he was. So inside and out. So I mean, for me, it's something that I take pride in, you know, I mean, I'm very blessed to have those looks. And so Melina's great and all, but Marco totally dismisses her right after the videos are done. Um, and I mean, some of you were probably disappointed by that, but, um, but unfortunately, sorry, but you know, um, but the thing is like Molina is, uh, Molina, and I think if my dad had seen Molina, I don't think he, he might not have even thought that it was the same person, like he might not have thought that was Marco, but um, I, I have a different real name, but uh, he might not have thought it was Marco. Um, and so, you know, it's kind of like, well, you know, I, I and for me, like he was so nice to me. He was always so nice to me. He was the great. He was great to me. So, I mean, you know, even if he saw that, I don't think he would have cared. He's not the type to care about those things. He was so easygoing. You know, he was very. Um, and he had friends that were did different things, and he wasn't concerned about it. You know, I mean, he would never dress up as a. He, he would have never dressed up as a woman, but. I mean, that was what he was like, right? He was not, he was a man, a real man, you know? So was Marco, but Marco dressed up as a woman for Molina videos, because who wouldn't want to see this? Like, seriously. Um, that's why I do Molina videos. It's entertainment. When you're an actor or a model or a singer or a dancer, you do things, you dress up certain ways as costumes. You don't do it because you're necessarily tied to it. But, I mean, for me... To make sure people are trans that are very supported, I want to make sure you guys, as a trans person, that I'm supportive of it. You know, there are some people that are very rude, you know. They mention something, and they say they're a certain personality, and then they just completely deny it, 
and say negative things. And people might be like, even though that person does those things, they say negative things, and you're like, okay, how come you're saying negative things? You are those things, but they would say negative things, and people get very depressed by that. So I'm not going to sit around and say, oh, you can't be trans, oh, you can't, even though I don't consider myself trans. I dress up as a woman only because of the entertainment, but I'm totally supportive. If you guys want to dress up as a girl, or as a guy, if you're a girl that wants to dress up as a guy, and you are going out on dates like that, and you live fully like that, and you're very happy like that, and that's who you want to be, and you even want a sex change, I'm supportive, because at the end of the day, we're all human, and it's popular for some reason. I don't know why, but it's super popular. Um, Jeffree Star is like, so popular, he can get a new boyfriend in like a snap, um, and he's like very good looking as a girl, and he doesn't even dress up as a guy hardly ever, so, you know, and he's super popular, so, I mean, for all I know, people that are trans are more popular, when I say I'm not trans, people are like, oh, no, but, I mean, that, the only reason I say that is because I'm not, like, I don't, I only do it for YouTube, I would totally say it if I was, and if I love living like that, and I love being trans, I would say it all the time, because to me, I'm, I'm always honest, so I like to be honest, so, so, I'm, I would say it, but, I'm really not trans, you know, I'm really kind of like just loving the look because it's so cool, you know, but otherwise I could care less about it. Um, and so, you know, um, but the thing is, like, I mean, Madonna's dressed up as a guy and she's gone out with a girl, you know, she's dated a girl, so and more than one, I'm sure, but, but, you know, we don't consider, we don't ever worry about her, we don't, not worry, but we don't say, oh, she's trans, we would never say that. If she was, we'd be happy to hear about it, but... And we'd be supportive, but I mean, she's never gonna say that. She likes guys too much, and she's always been a, a straight girl, like really straight girl. But she's bi, of course, she is bi. But she's always been like about men, you know. So for us to even question it, we wouldn't, right? But and the thing is, like, even though she's dressed up as a man, we're not gonna be like, oh, she's trans. No one, no one's gonna say that because we all know Madonna. Even though she's bi, we don't consider her. Well, I don't consider her bi. I consider her heterosexual, but she has dated women. And she openly admits she's bi, so she is bi. But for me, you know, I'm, I say that because I do talk about trans, because people see me dressed up as Melina a lot. So they might be wondering, why on earth do you always dress up as Melina? And they might love it, but they might be like, well, why not be Melina all the time? But for me, I just do it because I really enjoy the look. I think it's really cool. I look like a real beautiful woman to me, so I really like it. The look is so nice, so I do like to share that with people. So, um, when you see me dressed up as Molina, it's not that I... And I mean, I, I don't have to say anything about it. Like, to me, people people might be like, well, why do you even say anything? Like, we, we know you dressed up as a woman for entertainment. We know you're not into being Molina. Why do you even say it? But it's interesting. People might be, like, wondering... Uh, and I do make videos like this occasionally, and I, I think people want to see, like, what is it about Molina that's attractive? What is it, like, is Melina trans? Who might be wondering, and, you know, so when, when I do mention it, I do, I do talk about it, because I think it's important that, you know, there might be somebody out there that's a really good-looking guy that does it for entertainment, doesn't want to be associated with it, but does it a lot because he likes the look of women models, so he does it a lot. I might be bringing joy to him. Maybe he's like, oh, my goodness, somebody relates to me, you know, or maybe, maybe somebody else might be, like, trans, and they might be like, no one ever dresses trans, and I'm alone in this world, and even though there's a lot of people that do, people are famous, but the more people that are trans or dress up as a girl will, be, will bring more examples, people can relate to and be more comfortable being open about it and being living like that. So when I do it, when I talk about, you know, accepting trans, I really mean it, you know, because I think it's hard to, hard to live your life when you're thinking that no one accepts you and no one likes you. So for me, I really want people to know that if you are trans, that you have someone to look up to, and I, I only do that. I, I mean, for me, it's, I mean, for me, it's, it's either here, neither here nor there. But I only do that because I don't want somebody to commit suicide that's trans, or I don't want somebody that's gay or lesbian to commit suicide, or I don't want somebody that might be heterosexual that secretly dressed up as a woman to commit suicide. I'm very much against suicide, obviously. Um, so, you know, I think you should live a long life and healthy life. So, for me, it's just really unnecessary to have people that... Because there are people out there that would say, Oh, I'm not trans and I don't believe in it. And then they dress up as a woman. Well, you're like, 
well, you do it. Other people would see that and be like, you do it, so it's okay, obviously. And other people might be like, oh, they're even shunning it, you know, I'm upset, you know. So I don't want people to feel lonely and upset about it. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Click that subscribe button. Bye.